Dennis Buckheim, SVP of Data and Ad Effectiveness for the IAB. I'm Conrad Feldman, CEO of Quantcast. And we're just back from the second of our attribution and identity town halls. Uh, we, uh, we went in with an assumption that attribution and identity were two topics that are absolutely intimately related. And I think we validated that they are. Mm -hmm. uh, we also heard, though, that, uh, that a number of people really see so much complexity in each of the topics that, for example, in our second session, we wound up going entirely on, you know, on, on for an hour and 15 minutes about identity and really what it means. And I think we've been, what we ended on, actually, to me, was almost most fascinating a question about whether we should even really be calling it identity or is it something else? Is right. it a consumer identifier or even just identifier? And what, what is the point of, uh, of, of really investing in identity and what can we do or identifiers and what can we do uh, to make this more effective for the industry? And we saw that standards are clearly needed uh, as, as a baseline, I think. Uh, we, we certainly heard that, that education is important around identity. Uh, and we've been contemplating going beyond that and going into you know, what could we build as an industry collectively as services that would enable more effective, uh, more effective understanding of consumer identity, more effective management of consumer mm -hmm. privacy, uh, all of which enables so many great things in the ecosystem, start, starting with privacy, but moving towards attribution, which is why we had tied attribution, uh, t tied it in in this session, uh, more effective attribution, more effective measurement, more effective targeting, personalization, uh, just so many things. In yeah, the we ecosystem. heard a full, full range of, of reasons why people wanted to have more consistency with identifiers. And I think, you know, privacy and measurement, simple things like frequency capping. And it was also interesting to hear how having a better handle on identity would help us, would help marketers improve their storytelling. And then understanding yes. when they when they wanted to start as 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 uh, was remarked when they want to start the next chapter of the story and that requires some form of, of identifier that can persist through those chapters and that storytelling. Agreed. Yeah, I think it was it was actually great to hear the connection back to some of the other themes of the conference with creativity, storytelling, mm -hmm. quality content. You know, yeah. how do I get at, on the attribution site? How do I get credit as a publisher for the quality of my consumer experience, the quality of my content? Right. Uh, and how, how is that assessed right. and how do I, you know, what is the, the sort of fair credit? Uh -huh. there? Well, I think so much of, of what we do here and in our ecosystem is about how do we create value. And creating value is done in the context of how value gets measured. And so if the mechanisms we use for interpreting value don't fully appreciate the value of creative or the value of, of content, then there can be a problem in terms of the incentives that drive the industry. And I heard some of those things mentioned today. I also, th I also think that you know, we talk about attribution and a lot of people think about that as something really complex, and it can be, um, but it doesn't need to be. And also the, the potential to have improvements to the fairly simple metrics that we take for granted represents an opportunity. I heard from one marketer, which was that, um, and uh, she said, we know that, uh, that last click and last touch isn't right, and we need to move on from it. And, and also mentioned the need for education. Mm -hmm. You know, education for for our for our industry and the participants in terms of what are some of the aims, what are the pitfalls, what's the common language that we can use, but also the need within those organizations for education, because if you want to change the way you're measuring returns on investment, that's yes. got to be well understood. Not just we heard a great story today of of, of how marketing has to has to stand up against other expenditures in the organization unrelated yes. to marketing and advertising. Yes. And so how do you create that case and make sure everyone understands the mechanisms you're using to attribute value to, to all of the ingredients? Yeah, absolutely. And I think the, that education piece actually, particularly with attribution, was almost a little bit surprising to me in that I feel like it, of all the things we have invested in so far as IAB and other trade, as, trade associations, mm -hmm. uh, Education actually is, it has been a big investment. Uh, you know, we asked how many people in the audience uh, had, had read the Attribution Primer 2.0. Uh, very few people raised their hands, which was a little concerning. And then one of them commented along the lines of what you were saying, Conrad, that it's not I who have to read it, it's so many people right. in my organization, you know, throughout my organization who really need to understand it. I think that's, that was fascinating, yeah. right? I don't think education's never done. No, exactly, so, and it keeps evolving, right. you know, the whole space keeps evolving. So I think, yeah, I think on, on attribution, we heard uh, a call for some level of, of standards, 
uh, of guidance, really more, right. I should say, more right. guidance. On identity, we heard a clear call for standards. On attribution, we heard more of a call for education, for definitions, um, you know, for best practices, maybe case studies even, mm -hmm. but not, but, but a recognition with attribution that there's, there's, there is a legitimate variety of models out there. There's a legitimate There's no need one for model for, su that for success, right, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, but at the same time, I think there was, I mean, tell me if you agree, I think there was consensus that there's value in reaching a sort of good enough plateau on attribution not ta and, and keeping it as simple as we can while still being good enough, yep. not trying to perfect it, right. uh, especially if it's on kind of a rickety <laughs> identity and, foundation. And I think also right? agreement that, that where we are today is not good enough. It's not good enough. It's not yep. good enough and we can take some concrete steps to to improve that and we should have should have broad benefit. Yes, I mean it's the thing agreed. it's the sort of thing that should benefit everyone simultaneously, which is great. Yep. And I think identity becomes the foundation for that. It becomes yep. the foundation for many other things that, that I mentioned. Uh, and uh, and then the education follows. Education on was as, mentioned as well. for, for the yeah, for identity on, as well. As well. Yeah. And we build on that and uh, you know between the standards, the education and in some cases I think services that, that could range uh, into even validating identities across the industry potentially. We did discuss that a bit, and I thought um, it was it was telling, um, you know, when it was asked who would want to participate in a in a working group to spend more time yeah. looking at and thinking about identity. There were a lot of people that that yes. you know, opted to participate. Agreed, which I think and, is, and, is telling. And called out that it should be something we again we look at separately from yep. attribution. And on the attribution yep. side, we heard clearly that need for education, the need for the guidance, uh, but stopping short, I think, of that you know the the service level that, right. that we could provide right yeah right so thanks so much for watching and thanks again to everyone who attended our town hall